Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audio audio books. The links in the description. In this video, I'm going to be uh, taking a tour and location of this turnstile, brand new in the Atomic Shop. And before that, if you haven't heard, I have dropped a brand new ebook series. Number one's already out, called the Super Duper Wasteland Adventure. It is an adult apocalyptic picture book, so links are in the description to that. Now let's get started. All right, so here's the turnstile. It first appeared in the Atomic Shop March 5th, 2024. It is part of a bundle, but it is also a standalone, and I decided to purchase it as a standalone, and I believe the amount was 250 atoms and it is part of i believe the city food truck bundle let me see if i'm right and i'm incorrect what was it oh the parks performance bundle sorry about that so yes so it you can either grab it as part of the parks performance bundle which also comes with another brand new item which is not listed which is the q barrier those are the two items that come with that park performance bundle besides the instruments all right now let's get to how to build it I am in a shelter, so yes, you can build this in a shelter. So of course, it'll be under the new section if you just purchase it like me. Otherwise, you're going to go to floor decor. Passed it up. Okay, and it's going to be pretty far down. You have that giant, large, world's largest casino game. It's going to be very close to that, so if you go look for that. I'll give you also a couple of other references to help you find it in the list in case you're like me and have a bunch, a bunch of stuff. All right, so pretty far down the list, like I said. And I actually passed it a couple times because it's not facing, it, the back side is facing you, so I didn't even notice it the first time. Again, just look for that world's largest casino game. There it is. Uh, it, there's also the closed coffin, the Butcher's cutting board. Here is the turnstile. Above it will be Grognot's wax figure, along with the ship in the bottle and the desk fan. Those are good references. Okay. Now you can build more than one. There is no limit to how many you can build. All right. Now let's see if it's interactable. Okay. Huh. All right. No, it appears to be more of a barrier. So I might go topside later on in the video and test it out in the camp to see if you can actually use it like a barrier to prevent people from whatever you're wanting them prevent them from. But before that, let's go into camera mode and take a look at it, the details of it. They have done a good job with wear and tear on the paint. For the most part, the paint's in pretty good condition. You do have the metal plate at the bottom for the people to walk upon, tread upon. Again, it did not seem interactive, so it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to go through it. But again, maybe you're wanting some sort of barrier. And before I go topside, I will also take a gun to it and see what kind of damage it takes in a shelter. And I will try to do it also campsite in case there's any difference. All right, there's those two. Now this is a uh, relay rifle. Does not seem to take any damage. I took damage because it's an explosive rifle. All right, let me just let up on it. Of course, I can't lock onto it, but I'll do my best to stay on target. It does not seem to take any damage. And again, yeah, it's, it seems to be more of a barrier, though it was not in the defensive area. So now I'm going to go topside. Uh, I also will, I'm doing the topside because this will be camp versus shelter. In shelter, you can easily stack these. So I'm going to go into the camp area and see if they are stackable. In case you are wanting to kind of use them more of a defensive mechanism instead of just for looks. Hopefully no enemies will show up while I'm out here. 
If they do, I'm just going to ignore them. So now I'm going to go into sneak mode. And I think I'll try building them over here. Okay, so, whoops. Do that. Oh, okay, I'm going to change them. Let's see how high I can go on them. It'll let me stack another one. Oh, okay. All right, they are really stackable. So let me see if I can get it. Yep, I'm still within. Ah, oh, these are nicely stackable. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So if you want them as a wall. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to see it, how uh, a turret will fit on it. Let me get onto this one level right here and try to put it on the highest. I might be in the way, so let me do my best to do that. All right, so turret, 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 turrets. Let's go with this one. Let's go into this mode. All right, and okay, that's a negative. Now I might be too high. I don't think so. So what I'm going to try to, oh, again, I said I might be in the way. So let me get out of the way in case I am. And let's do that one more time. Hi, doggy. All right, it does not seem to be able to stack. Let's see. Nope. Okay, let me try something different. Something maybe decoration. So let's go to decor. All right, seems like no. Let me go with something smaller. Ship in a bottle. Okay. Let's try a fan. Kind of gauge sizes. Now let's see if we can get something actually on the pad. I'm gonna have to start over. I'm gonna try down here instead. All right. Oh, it did. Let me go in the other view. There. Right, let's go down. All right. Yes. All right, it's not letting me build on the flat part so far. You will be able to in the shelter. I, I, I maybe I will test that to make sure, but uh, looks like in the camp it's not letting you put them on the bases of these. Yeah. Let's try. Whoop, yeah. All right, one more time. Whoop, there, got it. Oh nope, I'm wrong. All right, so it looks like maybe with a lot of finagling and patience, you should be able to stack stuff right on that plate. I was able to put the ship in the bottles on the top part right here. All right, if there's anything else you'd like me to test out, go in the comments. I'll do my best to do it for you because, yeah, let me sh buy the item, test it out. That way you know if it's going to be worth your atoms or not. All right. Again, that's why I do these turn location videos. Again, I can't wait to hear from you if you want, to, you want me to test some stuff out that I didn't test already. Otherwise, that is it from this video. Check you guys later. Happy gaming and happy building. Deathclaw Girl out.